I mean, it's March Madness. I mean, you got to come to play. The MEAC championship game is set, and it's Spartans versus Bears as Morgan State gets the upset win over the tournament's top seed, Coppin State. And don't call it a comeback, because they've been here before. Yesterday, as Morgan State erases another halftime deficit, flipping this one into a 21-point win and a trip to the ship. It's one of those nights where, you know, I, it's not hard to get up for Coppin being at Morgan. It's what they call a rivalry. And um, we got off the gate a little slow, but you know, the second half we played a better second half than we did first half. I want to take my hat off uh, to Coppin, you know, the regular season number one seed. Uh, they had a great year. They got some very good players that uh, did a lot of good things for them. Um, it was just, it was, a, it was a grind out, you know, to the end. You know, our guys never gave up. You know, we got down nine and a half. Like I told him, we did that last night. We was down 11 last night, nine and night. We can't keep doing that, especially going and playing. Who I think is one, the, probably the best team in the league, uh, Norfolk. And I think they got one of the best coaches in the league, uh, Rob Jones. So I respect them. Our, our guys respect them. They beat us three times. But, you know, it's, it's, a, different, it's a different time of the year. So we're going to come ready to play tomorrow. The Terrion Webb blessed us with another almost 30-piece tournament combo, going for 29 points, 15 boards, four assists, five threes. Man, y'all better quit playing with the Terrion Wear out there. It'll be a tough, grinded out game. They they have really good players. I mean, I respect their players as a team. I mean, Rob is a good friend. He talks all the time. And, you know, he, last night, I said the same thing he said to me. I said to him last night, get the W. And when he got the W, he said, now it's your turn, get the W. Now I got to text him back and say, uh, see you tomorrow. You know, um, they have a good program, really good program. Um, I like the way, uh, I can't, I, Bryant is the kid I love. Him. Bryant and uh, Carter, two guards. I love, and then they got other good players, but those are the, those are the backbone of their team. Uh, then they got the big fella, you know, he's the blue guy for them. Uh, Norfolk is a very good, very good program. And, uh, you know, we're, we're just thankful to have one more day. We live to see another day. We want to, you know, show well tomorrow and hopefully we'll be off to Indianapolis after tomorrow. Now Norfolk's Joe Bryant Jr. dropped 30 last night too. And both he and Deterion Ware have been out here shooting the lights out. Morgan and Norfolk played four times this year with the Spartans winning three out of four, but the largest margin of victory was only five points. You know, when we first played them, I thought we were hitting on all cylinders, and then we got comfy. And I like to tell these guys, stop being comfy. You know, because every game means something. You know, it, it was a good wake-up call when we went up to Delaware State. I tell these guys all the time, it's a basketball game. You can't just take anyone right now. So, after we played them the first time, it was more so we beating ourselves. Now, I'm not going to take nothing from them. They beat us. They beat us three straight times. And I know they're thinking about that, but we'll be ready tomorrow. We'll be ready. So I think it's safe to say we're about to have a whole entire ball game. Morgan versus Norfolk. Winner takes home the Nets, gets the ship, and heads off to Indy for the big dance. I've been in the gym getting my level up. Fenders getting gas, so I mash on the pedal. What the backboard I crash, slam the rock to a pebble. What the breeze from the past will assist your irregular.